Last time on Solo Female Van Life Lessons. Uh, we've had a little bit of drama tonight. So after driving around for a while, just uh, pulled up in a big open area. There are a bunch of ATV folks here camping and hopefully that gives me some privacy. Good morning, everybody. It's six o'clock in the morning. I woke up around 5.30 and I just wanted to show you where I wound up sleeping last night. So it's this big gravel circle, really. And then when you're looking through my back window, so that's why you see the lines for my defroster. But there are other people here, as you can see, car camping and tent camping. And I had a campfire last night. And then as I scroll around, I have my shades up. So you're not going to see much, but uh, my screens rather. But um, then there's a big RV and some other people over there. And they ran their generator uh, all night. It wasn't horrible. At least I'm far away from them. I'll get out and show you what it looks like. It's huge, huge circle. I don't have an internet connection, so I can't say what temperature it is right now, but it's cool enough that I have jumped into my sleeping bag. <laughs> All right, so I'm up and about now. The tent campers, I'm gonna not zoom in for their privacy. They haven't appeared yet, um, but the, uh, RVers, they, their generator conked out, and so they've been up for a few minutes. Uh, they have a couple of ATVs in the center, and then some trucks and campers and haulers. So we know what they're doing today. But this is public land, and it's free. last night is called South Mountain and it is the mountain where General Lee and all of his troops arrived when they came close to the town of Gettysburg. Their supply line, the Confederacy's supply line was through a route on South Mountain which I think I, I want to say it's Baltimore Pike. Uh, I could be wrong. Basically I was driving on the same supply route that the Confederacy used, at least wanted to use while they were fighting at the high water mark in the north. And it is a beautiful morning. No bugs, no humidity, and I can't tell you what temperature it is. Probably 60 something, 65? Maybe closer to 70, uh, but it feels nice and cool. Not very humid at all. And this is the other lot that I was trying to find last night. I couldn't find I ran down the road quite a ways to see if I could find it. Oh my gosh. So this is just another big circle. But look. Bathrooms. This is fantastic. Even though, you know, it's not grass or anything. But to have a free place to camp with a bathroom. I know they're both toilets, but wow, this is awesome. So because this is where I should have parked last night at the amphitheater, I'm going to take a look in the daylight. It's at the Chinkapin campground up this hill.
in here and I'm in the ladies room. These are flush toilets. Skylights so they're not using electricity. Very very clean. Very well maintained. Oh, there's toilet paper on that one but otherwise really nice bathroom and potable or potable however you pronounce it water. Okay all cleaned up in the restroom and uh, we're gonna go see if those people are still at my campsite and then head out for coffee and maybe breakfast. lunch at a place called the Flamingo and then because their tables outside were in the shade I just hung out there until about 2 30. Right now I'm right across the street from the Thaddeus Stevens blacksmith shop which is where the program is at 2. degrees right now but it's actually not that bad if you're not hiking so that's why I'm not hiking plus with Lyme disease I don't really feel up to it yet but in the shade there is a slight breeze it's not very humid it's actually not too bad I wanted to document some of the goals for this weekend um, one obtain water while on the road potable water or potable water whatever you say I was able to do that at the restaurant and in the public bathrooms at the day use at Caledonia. Two, um, in Pennsylvania, you have to reserve a dispersed motorized camping spot in the state forests. It now costs a little bit of money. It's like $10 a day. It used to be free. Um, but one thing that I've noticed is that there is a ton of just gravel. Off the side of a road, there's a gravel patch big enough for a car. You could easily stay the night in one of those places. But tonight, even though my campsite is now clear and available, um, I might not stay at my campsite. I might seek out one of those other patches. Ooh, it's bright up here without my hat. There's plenty of parking here that I could park in the forest for free. Um, I want to take a shower at some point. Uh, brought everything with me. I think I'm just gonna go up to the campground and park up there at the shower and take a shower. What else could I do? You know, I got food and meals. That's easy. Uh, I do have food in my cooler, so I do plan to eat that, but um, my breakfast was so large that I actually had half of it for lunch. And uh, what else? Food, water, shelter, 
cleanliness. I think that's about it. Walking up this path to the backside of the furnace in flip-flops.